Good morning, hikers! We are here at the north end of the Waterville segment, and we are going that way, which is a little bit of road, and some public property has been opened up to get some dirt under our feet before we get to the nature center. We go through that, and then we hit the Glacial Drumlin Trail, and over 18, we get into Lampum Peak. And that's our goal for today. Are you guys ready? Woo! Yeah! What did we do today? Got off the clouds! Woo! Make sure Woo! you touch the sign. Boom! Connect the dots. Woohoo! Mm-hmm. Yep. Just over the hill. Yeah, it's over, always over this to over the hill. Two more minutes. Just a mile, mile and a half. Mile, mile and a half. Yeah. So we're coming off a of Waterville Road onto some nice new tread. This is recently put in by the Ice Age Trail Alliance and the volunteers. And it turns into a beautiful walk along the front yards of the houses on Waterville. Thankfully, these homeowners opened up this property with a four foot swath of trail to get us over to the nature center. And it's a beautiful, beautiful walk. So grateful for these people that opened up this little trail. If you got property along the Ice Age Trail, there will be lots of people grateful for you opening up your four foot swath of freedom from the road. Here it is, everyone. The infamous octopus rock. Da, da, da. Hey, the rock. It's the octopus rock. Yes. You've heard of the elephant rock. Now you've got the octopus rock. Go to the right, everybody! Woohoo! Dun dun It's time for a newbie interview! Woohoo! Here we go! Welcome! And who do we have here? I'm Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Welcome to the trail. Thank you. Very cool. So, uh, how familiar are you with the Ice Age Trail? How many miles are, do you have? Um, I will be between 275 and two, 275 to 280 by the end of today. Nice. Everything from Eastern Terminus down to through Delafield. Hey, yeah. congratulations. And then wow. We'll be, uh, Peak today, uh, I still have myself five miles of connector route oh. to do on that eastern side. Just yeah. to, so that you know, when I come back the next time, maybe we'll do that. Uh, so uh, you've got two something. That's awesome. And we just knocked out a connector route yep. from Waterville Yay. to our, uh, actually this is a um, Glacial Trumlin Trail, which is a long blacktop. It goes all the way out to Madison. Very yeah. beautiful trail for your bikers. And we're going to go hit Lamp and Peak. Yay. So what brought you to the trail? Uh, back in 2020, I had a trip planned with my nephew out to 
go canoeing and camping along the Takini River of the Yukon River. territory. Oh, wow. It's a branch of the Yukon River. Okay. And of course, COVID hit and it got canceled. Oh, man. So okay. I was having a pity party and it was <laughs> like December of 2020. And I'm like, uh -huh. I'm never going to travel again. Uh -huh. So I thought, well, make the most of it. I live in Northeast Wisconsin. I thought, let me check out Potawatomi State Park. That's not too far there you away. Go. Maybe I'll just go hiking in the park. Uh huh. And as I was looking at park maps, I saw this thing labeled Ice Age Trail. I'm That's like, what right. the heck is this? So I ended up on the Ice Age Trail Alliance website and I went down that rabbit hole. There you go. And whoa. Once you start, and you got, I heard you have your map that you check off. Of. Oh, yeah, I have the, the big, big wall, wall map. map. You got to get the wall matches. map because you are hooked after that. Yeah, I you. have the map, the, uh, guidebook pages so I can color in those segments. Very and, cool. Yeah, and I keep a little handwritten diary of each hike to awesome. kind of remember some of the highlights. Very so, cool. Yes, yeah. it's a great way to see Wisconsin. It is. I mean, all these little towns you never knew existed. And frankly, even the connecting routes can be kind of interesting. They, like they kind of can be. Like Cato Falls. I never knew that was there, but that is a little side hike. Wait till you get to Rock County. Oh, Woo! Yeah, gotta rock to Rock County. There's yeah. some good long ones over there. Yeah, there are. Uh huh. So, that's when you call for a shuttle, though. That's when you call, <laughs> get off the couch, and you yeah. go over the big group. <laughs> yes. That's true. Because it true. makes the connector routes all that much more enjoyable. Yeah. And when I did Delafield, I did notice there's an ice cream shop there. So yes. I definitely think there's going to be ice cream after this trip. That's hike is right. Going to be. Do it for the ice cream. That's right. So with our group, it's either ice cream or beer. We find one or the other. So yeah, you uh -huh. can make beer flavored ice cream. Beer flavored ice yeah, cream. That'd be a totally Wisconsin yes. thing, right? I think you're onto something. Beer plus some brat chips in there. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you might be onto something. <laughs> we'll see. But thanks so much for coming out with us yeah. today. Appreciate it. And today and knock off a couple of miles. And our last question, what did you do today? I got off the couch. Woohoo! Okay, we're on Glacial Drumlin Trail, and there's a sign here that says Lampa Peak, Lake Country Trail, Trail in Delfield, but that's not the way you go. If you look over here, there's a nice marker for the Ice Age Trail. Keep on going, because the spot to cross over Highway 18 is a little further ahead. Here we go. And I'll catch up with you or something. We're going from Waterville. The lamp and peak. Boom! Newbie interview number two. Woohoo! We just officially finished a portion of the Waterville segment. And we're on to Lamp and Peak. And uh, who do we have here today? I'm Laurel Sanford from Sheboygan Falls. Sheboygan Falls! Woohoo! Thank you for coming down from Sheboygan Falls. And uh, so, what brings you to the trail? Well, not just today, but what brought in you general? to the trail in general? Yep. Um, I'm trying to build up stamina hiking so that when I go on my Alaska cruise next month, Alaska. I can do it. Nice, Alaska. Woohoo! That's a big goal. Yep. Very sweet. All right. And um, so, how many miles do you have about approximately? Oh, maybe somewhere around 25. 25. All right. Yes, the beginner stage. Yes, real beginner. Not not super hooked yet, but just the just the sweet taste of the Lamp and Peak. I mean the uh, Ice Age Trail. Yep. Um, and you'll see you'll see a few of these segments where it's blacktop. Yeah. But 
um, you'll also see some of the beauty that's on the trail today, especially through Lampin Peak. So, awesome. Yes, and um, I'm looking forward see. to getting out in the woods. Very cool. And so what's your number one tip for people to get started? Wear good shoes. Wear good <laughs> shoes and socks. Yes. Socks are, are very important. Do not do cotton socks. It's not a good thing. Even though they're comfy, they're good for after hiking. Yeah. Yes. So wool socks. And look at that. Boom. We're going down there. We're going down there. Thanks so much. And what? Uh, last question. What did you do today? I'm hiking on the Ice Age Trail. And you what? I drove from Sheboygan Falls. And you what? Oh, I got off the couch. Yeah! Woohoo! So somebody forgot about this segment. Yep. Uh-huh. We found it highlighted on the map for some reason. Never happened. But it never happened. So be well, careful. I was motivated to catch up to your map, so see. Uh-huh. So when you're highlighting that map, don't get too crazy. See, you're going to highlight something you didn't do. Yep. Beautiful day. What a day! What a day! So they blocked off that whole trail. And now we're going across this way. Oh. I see what they've done. Nice. Did you think I was going to miss that or what? Huh? Turn left. There we go. This is the uh, new, the new path. Newbie interview number three. Woohoo! And who do we have here? Oh, my name is Don. Hey, Don. Welcome to the trail. Thank you so much. Yes. It's a joy to be out here with you. What brings you out to uh, to the trail today? Well, it's because I got invited by Nika. Nice. We have known for many years now. And Very this cool. This was the only chance we were going to get to connect while she was here. So. Awesome. It turns out really good for me because I haven't done that much hiking in Wisconsin and I'm really glad to be getting a little exposure. There you go. Well, welcome to the Ice Age Trail, by the way. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, we hope you get addicted to something, at yeah. least the trail. <laughs> so I think I will be out hiking a lot more. <laughs> All right. And uh, so what brings you out? Like you've actually expressed how you've hiked several different areas in the United States and around the world, right? Uh, yeah, actually, I've been to Patagonia and Argentina. Oh, nice. Yeah. So what, what gets you out on the trail? What gets me out on the trail? Mm -hmm. uh, being outside, being in nature. Being in nature. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Moving fresh air, moving. There you go. A little bit. Yeah. Very cool. And um, so how many miles of the Ice Age Trail have you hiked so far? I don't know. It's a, the, it seems like the estimate that was given initially might have been a little off. Oh yes, I'm really yeah. Not sure. <laughs> We're gonna probably do about <laughs> nine like today. Six, maybe six miles is all today for me. I think you guys are gonna be doing nine. There you go. Oh yeah. 
So you joined us halfway, yep. midway. That was great. So yeah, so you can put this down as your official start. That's right. I'm starting the Ice Age Trail. Now I'm gonna have to keep track of my segments. Right? It's a yes. It's a little gem in Wisconsin called the Ice Age Trail. So it goes from Sturgeon Bay down to Janesville, up through the central Wisconsin, and over to St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin. I'm gonna have to peruse so. the maps and decide what comes next. Absolutely. Well, you can always look for a get off the couch to find it. Well, I can follow so. this group. Yeah, yes. What next. Absolutely. So, uh, all right. So, what did you do today? That's our, our final question. What did you do today? Is on my what did I do today? I mean, where am shirt. I now? What did you, what did you do today? What did I do today? So, I got to spend a couple hours hiking oh, with this oh. wonderful group. There's a, there's a hint right there. There's a hint? There's an oh, well, I rarely am on the couch, so, you know, I didn't have to get off the couch. But, all yeah. right. That's a good answer. <laughs> so you what? Got off the couch! I don't spend a lot of time on the couch, so <laughs> I didn't have to get off of it. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome. It's great to be here. Enjoy the nice trail. You guess you guess one, two, three. We did it! We did uh, seven point six plus two more to Waterville. Nine point five miles today. Woo! Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.